Hi, good morning. This is me, Dudalao, here, and we are on the 26th episode of Enjoy the Journey. And what is that, Enjoy the Journey? It's a webinar series where um, I talk about, you know, the life of um, being an internet marketer, what internet marketers do, uh, different questions that people have about internet marketing. You know, a lot of people look at it like, is it real? Can I do it? And I'm here to answer those questions because, of course, it's real. Uh, if you go on the internet, you can see it every day. And yeah, you can do it. Real people can do internet marketing. You don't have to be a computer geek to do internet marketing. You could be a pretty girl. You, know? <laughs> you could be someone who's working a full time job. You could have a baby, a husband. You know, you can have a lot of things going for you and still have an internet business. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. My name is May Dulagalau. I do have a son. I started um, I started doing internet businesses, blogging uh, in particular, about in 2009. So that's uh, about six years ago. And it was a rocky start. You know, I blogged, blogged every week, and I put up videos on the internet every week on how to, how to learn English. I was teaching English as a second language. Um, so if you, if you spoke Chinese and you wanted to learn English, or if you spoke Hindi or Filipino or Samoan or Chukis or whatever, and you wanted to learn English, you could go to my blog and um, learn English. And that blog was eslteacherguide.blogspot.com. So I was using the Blogspot blog, which is a free blog that you can get from Google. Now, I didn't know back then how hard it was to make money blogging. So, um, you need to have, uh, and, and I was I was blogging consistently, my rank was getting better and better, and it's just, I was just getting money. And I didn't know why, you know, and after a whole year of doing it, and, you know, I was getting ranked and all this stuff, but I just wanted to make some money, you know. What I was doing to uh, create income was I had advertisements on my blog. One was from Amazon. I became an affiliate of Amazon. So people bought the book that I was teaching from or anything from Amazon and clicking through my site to get to Amazon. I got a small commission, really small, okay, like very tiny commission, okay? Um, and then if uh, somebody uh, clicked on other ads that were Google ads, Google gave me a few cents every time someone clicked. So that's, the, that's what I had on my blog. And it just didn't make... I didn't make a lot of money. <laughs> I guess I didn't have enough traffic to make it make a lot of money. Um, even though I blog, you know, every week and I put up videos every week. I'd say I put up like two or three blog posts every week consistently for a year. And my ranking kept getting better and better and better. And my blog was, you know, cited by the blogs and all kinds of things. And so anyway, um, at the time when I started this internet business, I was very, very poor in huge debt to me about 30 something thousand in debt and I was actually at the time I was like 20 something and then it became 30 something like the following year and um I was renting uh, I, I was kind of isolated from my family because I had a really bad relationship prior and um, so I didn't really have any friends <laughs> and I was pulling my life together um from all kinds of things that happened to me including lawsuits and all kinds of stuff and so I went I started this internet business and I was like I want to make money you know I want to pay off this debt I want to I want to have something that I enjoy doing I want to have something that's there to take care of me I want to have something I can do from home you know and I just I just wanted something that I could make money um without having to work all the time you know so I could spend more time doing other things I love to do at the time I really love to work out I, lo I love to go to the gym. I love to go running outside. I love to be outside and go to the beach and stuff. I always want to learn surfing, you know. And I eventually started surfing every day. Um, and I started doing a lot of things that normally I wouldn't do because I just took the time to learn more, do more, read more books, improve. And eventually my life got better and better, you know. And um, I kept reaching milestones. and. It was just, it was just a kind of a journey. Anyway, I started this particular blogging system that I use now. I started it in 2013 in April, and I was pregnant, and I, 
I had kind of put my internet business aside for a couple of years. I did it in Iron Man. I got married, you know, so I still only got married. And then I was like, you know what? I want to get this started again. And I want to do it now before I give birth to my baby. Because after I give birth to my baby, you know, it'll be all over. You know, I'll be, I'll, I'll have a baby that's, um, you know, I, I'll have a baby. I'll be so busy. I won't be able to do anything. You know, I, I need to get this going. I want to take it or So I had this goal in my head. I heard about this business where you can blog, right? It's a community and it's a great blog and you can sell a great product on top of it that people actually want to buy. Um, and then what will happen is, uh, so what will happen is you can sell your product, make lots of money, blog, do what you like. It's a community that will help you. And I, and I heard all these stories. You know, I heard a story about this one person who, it was an attorney, and um, not an attorney. I forgot what it was. Oh, she she was an attorney. She used to do multi-level marketing, and then she um, she joined this business. She had she was pregnant, and she made like eleven thousand in the business. And then she gave birth and didn't do anything for like half a year. Didn't do anything. Didn't talk to anyone. People would call her when she got out of the business, and she wouldn't even call them back. Like she didn't do a thing. Her name was Nicole. Uh, Nicole Cooper, and she made while she was after she gave birth, she made another thirty six thousand dollars. Now, her results are not typical. I'm going to tell you they're not typical. Everyone's results are different. It depends on your work ethic. It depends on how much experience you have. She used to do most of the marketing for team, so she had a lot of experience in the business prior to joining this one. So she had pretty good results because I'll tell you this. When I gave birth, I also made about ten thousand dollars in this business. My results also are not typical. I just say that my results are not typical. Okay, it all depends on how much you want it, how much you spend your time on it. You know, I, I was consistent just like before, but this time when I was consistent, I was making like bigger money, ten thousand dollars, and that was in just from April, May, June, July, August, so five months to make. $10,000 and then I gave birth to my son and it wasn't like Nicole I didn't make another $36,000 <laughs> well, and, and I didn't I didn't not do anything I did something I didn't make another $36,000 um, because I think she was her the people she brought in um, like I said she was more experienced in the present I had never done MLM multi-level marketing and this company is um, it's not it's not a multi-level marketing company. However, it, if you build if you can build a business doing a multi-level marketing company, you can build a business doing. I, I think pretty much anything. So she built that business, and then she um, she was just experienced at it. So she had more uh, knowledge and stuff. So if and I heard a lot of success stories, you know, and and that's what got me in. Okay, and don't get me wrong, just because I did. Making thirty-six thousand dollars and not do anything doesn't mean I quit or anything. Because ten thousand dollars before I gave birth was a huge amount of money to me. Okay, huge. One of the two of those days we made over four thousand uh, dollars. One of those days we made over four thousand dollars, and then we also made like in, in two consecutive days combined of about over four thousand dollars. And I've never done that in my life. Never. I don't think I've ever made that much in a month. Okay, and I made it in a day. And I was like. Static. Now, like I said, my results are not typical. By the way, there is an income disclaimer. It's at workwithme.com slash income. And May is M-E-Y. Okay. So just so you know, uh, we do have an income disclaimer. Um, go there if you have questions about this thing that I do. And there's Chris. She just joined. She does it too. Hi, Chris. How are you doing? Good morning. Can you hear me? Yes, I Hi, can. Good morning. Say again. What did you say? I said good morning. Oh, good morning. <laughs> so anyway, um, Chris and I are in the business, and we have this amazing income disclaimer in this business. Uh, like I said, it is a blogging business. And the income disclaimer is, uh, you can find it at workwithmay.com forward slash income. And it shows the daily earnings, uh, average earnings of all affiliates in the business and all active affiliates in the business. So as you know, in any um any home-based business, you know, some people will just quit, you know, they'll join and quit. 
because they didn't do anything. You know, I've seen it so many times. They'll join and be like, oh, I'm going to get rich instantly. And I'm going to join. And then and then they don't do anything. I'm like, I'm not rich yet. And then they quit, which is really stupid. You know, however, I see it all the time. So they, they, we have two income disclaimers. One is active, active and power network. I mean, <laughs> active people in the business. And those people um, are people who actually are um, doing the business. You know, and then the others are inactive. Those are people who did it for a little bit and quit. Okay. So we have both of them. Just to give you like the focus and it's updated instantly in instant time uh, because it's an internet business, you can do that. Because a company is so badass, they can do that. I've never seen an internet thing like that ever, anywhere. And I don't even have faces anywhere else. So our company is extremely transparent in um, who's making money and how, and how much and how much per month. They don't give you the names, they just average the results. What percentage? It's really cool. You know, I actually recommend you go check it out. <laughs> so, I'm just going to put it on the screen for you uh, real quick so you can uh, check it out if you want. Um, see. Wait, get this account. Okay, I'm going to flip myself. Ooh, and there it is. So that's the that's the link you can go to to see the income disclaimer if at any time you want to look at it. Now, um, I want you heard my story and you kind of know about I, I started I struggled I blogged consistently for a year didn't make any money. Now I went through a lot of stuff. Maybe you're just starting. Maybe you're struggling too. I don't know. However, in this in this hangout right now, we're going to talk about five shortcuts. Five shortcuts to making money blogging, and it's going to save you so much time. It's going to save you so much effort, so much money. Because I did, I did pay money to figure out how to do a business. You know, I put in at least, at least uh, three thousand dollars. You know, just to do the education, the resources, figure out how to set up my website. You know, get coaching and training and all these things. You know, it's it, it's just costly, you know, it just takes time. And uh, I did that and I still didn't make money. You know, I did make money in the, in the sense that I had a business so I could write off my internet and I could write off those courses. And so I got all this back in taxes. So I was funded. However, I didn't make money as a business, which was what I wanted to do, right? We want to make money when we get into business. We don't want to like lose money, you know, just save taxes. Although it's a great benefit. <laughs> so anyway, Chris, why don't you tell everyone your story um, who you are, why you decided to get into um, internet business. So people can kind of hear. Um, my name is Chris Walsh. Um, what got me into the business was I saw an ad on Facebook. Um, I was going through a lot of struggles. My, my husband, he's been addicted to to drugs and alcohol and it's it's a battle for me to be working three jobs dealing with my my husband's situation and not being able to pay, pay on with the bills rent car payments um, credit cards medical and so when I saw this opportunity on Facebook it, it gave me the the opportunity that whatever whatever they're going through in their situation what makes me not be able to make it through um, an online business so what I did was that I jumped in with only $25 and from there I pressed on but even though my situations were still arising I, you got to do whatever it takes to get you through. Um, like what May says, the results are not typical. You just got to plug in and do whatever it takes to get you to where you want to go. As an example, um, there was an event that, that just happened a few weeks ago. I didn't have the money to, to um, go to an event. But it's easy to say that you don't have. It's so easy to say, and we're so accustomed to that, you know. I don't have this and I don't have that. But it's a matter of choice what it all comes down to. 
a good typical example is that I only had $600, $300 in cash, $300 in my checking account. It's a matter of choice whether I want to use that money to pay my bills or and not get the results. Or I can use the money to go to a live event that will give me the results of what I really want. And I got started in this business, you know, in 2013. I didn't take it serious. And because I was so focused on my situation, my problems. But when I made the choice that I said, enough is enough, I used that money, that $600, to buy me a, a, a ticket to get to a live event other than paying my bills. Then I said to myself, how am I gonna to get to the event? And what I did was that I had to use this mind of mine, you know, and tell myself, I don't have anything to sell because I gave away majority of my, my valuables. I only took what I needed. So how am I gonna get the money to get on the airplane? And what I did was that I jumped in the dumpster I, I grabbed cans and bottles, whatever it took to get me to a live event. I got to the airport and I was surprised. I was like totally surprised that I saw me. And then I'm on the airplane and I'm like full crying. I'm like telling myself, I made it with my recycling money. I made it on this airplane by, by collecting cans and bottles. Now, if I was to call somebody and, and, and ask, hey, can you, can you lend me, you know, they'd be looking at me like, you're crazy or what? And I'll just tell you this. People, you can call anybody and they'll look at you like you're crazy. Why are you doing this business? It's, it's a scam. But whatever it takes from your heart to do what you really want to do, you'll, you'll do it. Seriously, because look, I did it, and I was like totally amazed with myself. When I got to when I got to the event, I was still crying because it's like whatever it takes for you to change your situation, and I did it. I stepped out of my box. I got rid of the box, and I said, you know what? I can do it because if these people can do it, what makes you think that I can do it? You know, that's the most I can tell you. I'm plugging in every single day to get to where I want to be. That's the most I can tell you. You know, I can do it, you can do it. I encourage you, do it. Okay, I hand it over to you. Thanks, Chris. This is an amazing story. Um, and if, if, in case you have a difficulty getting involved, like for me, I what I did to start my business is I would borrow money, however I had credit. So I borrowed to finance myself, and I paid myself back with the tax savings I got. So for me, it wasn't that big a deal. However, Chris had a different issue, right? She actually went and collected cans and bottles and to get the money to go. So whoever is listening to this, you know, oh, and Chris, you should put your name and your blog under your picture, picture while I'm talking to you. So whoever's listening to this, if um, what, what we talk about when we talk about internet marketing, we're talking about a community of people who are made of everyone and anyone you can think of, every race, every ethnicity, all kinds of countries. You know, people, there's there's a couple right now. There's Alex and um, Anna Zuberev, and they, um, they're almost at a million dollars in earnings. They're really close. I think they're at 996000 right? And they've only been, this business has only been around, this particular blogging business has only been around for about a little over three years, right? And they're already almost at the million dollar mark where they're going to get this cool millionaire ring, right? It's all these two studded rings, it's like a millionaire ring that our company is, is actually committed to making 100 new millionaires every year. Now, like I said, Alex and Anna's results are not typical, and it's based on their efforts, their experience, their hard work. And like I said, you can always go to the income disclaimer, which is the link right below my name, work with made.com slash income if you want to know more. However, there are already there are already 14 verified millionaires in Empower Network. Uh, one of them we work directly with is Lawrence Tam. 
he is uh, he's made over two million. You know, he's the largest income earner um, in the company, active income earner, and he actually works with us personally. And like I said, his results are not typical. I'm going to keep saying this. And why do I keep saying this? It's because our company has a whole compliance training. Um, and I've been compliance training, um, which is a great thing. Like, I also work at a bank full time. And we go through compliance training like you wouldn't believe, you know? Because after the housing crisis of 2008, so much new compliance. You know, if we do a mortgage, we have to make sure everybody uh, gets the same mortgage disclosure document within three days of receiving the application. You know, all this kind of stuff we have to do. We have to hire more people just to be compliant. We bring compliance like all the time. Like, I take compliance lessons every year. Any serious business, especially in the United States, because we have a lot of laws to protect consumer, okay? Because um, that's just the way we are. We'll have compliance, okay? And our business has a whole compliance training segment. Did you do the compliance training, Chris, when you got involved? Yes, in I sure training? did. Yeah, see? So, and they very teach important. us to stay very, very, very important. Yeah, and if you're a real business, you're going to have compliance, okay? If you don't have compliance, then you're not a real business, okay? If you're not... They're not an ethical, real, you know, business. And honestly, before, when I first started and I was running a blog, I didn't know any of this stuff. I didn't have a compliance department. I was by myself, you know. I didn't know the laws of internet marketing. Um, I did know how to do, I didn't have an autoresponder um, after, it took me a while to get that one. Actually, it took me two years to figure out what an autoresponder is because I took another course and they taught me. And that was that handles the laws for email marketing. There's a lot of laws on email marketing, right? You're not allowed to spam people, right? You're, you're only allowed to give certain content. You have to give people a link on every email so they can opt out of your email list. You know, there's these things you have to do. And every country has a little different laws. So you have to use uh, a company to send your emails out just so they can, because they keep track of the law for you. Because it's complicated, compliance, you know? And, um, and I learned that the second year of my, my internet marketing career. And um, that's something else that is very compliant. So you want to, if you're going to be in an internet business, you need to know these things. You need to know how to be compliant. And when I say my income results are not typical, or Lawrence Kim or Anna and Alex Zuber have their results are not typical, it's because that is what we have to say uh, according to compliance, because the results are not average. And the average earnings are on that income disclaimer right there. However, they spent more time, you know, they have focused effort. When they joined, they kept doing it. They didn't just, you know, not do anything and then pick it up later. They just focused, focused, focused. They worked with mentors and they made, made money. And as far as I know, anyone who sticks with it long enough, I don't know anyone who doesn't make money. Uh, I haven't met anyone yet. Who has been, if they stuck to it and they didn't quit. And everyone's different. Like I said, if you had no experience making a business before, then this might be really hard for you. If you've never done internet marketing in your life, if you don't even know how to type on a computer, this might be hard for you, okay? Um, and, and then again, if you know a lot about internet marketing already, and or if you have built businesses before, then you might pick it up like that, you know, and make money really fast. That's the type of thing with this. Now, if you stick with it and learn, it's part of our business, we teach you what to do. If you actually learn the lessons and do the, do the steps, then you will... You pretty much make money, although check out the income disclaimer. I haven't seen anyone who did it, not not yet. Because if you plug in, you go to the events like Chris did, then you meet people who help you. You know, I've met people who are like, okay, this is what you need to do. And now I talk to people who don't work for a living, and they mentor me. You know, just because they're going to these events, that's another thing. Chris mentioned that, and what, like I said in the beginning, people don't believe this is real. Like they see an ad on the internet, and they're like, this is a scam. I don't believe this is real. Do people make money like that? Well, if you doubt it, just go to an event. I mean, if you go to an event, you'll see them. You can touch them if you really want to. I mean, that's kind of rude. However, you can meet people, you know. You can, you can talk to them yourself. You can find out who they are. And you know what? You're going to find out they're real people just like you, just like me. I mean, the founder of the company used to be homeless, living on a van in the north shore of Oahu, which is where we live right now, Chris and I. Right. living in a van, okay? I don't live in a van. I never lived in a van in my life. There's a guy who lived in a van, okay? And and honestly, I've heard stories how he used to smell, okay? Because he doesn't have good hygiene. And he used to smell when he was the owner for Power Network, making billions of dollars, walking around in the audience at events. And this one lady smelled him and was like, if this guy can do it, I can do it. Because she didn't like the 
you know, because he doesn't have this, he's barefoot, he wears these tank tops that are kind of old and he stinks. And I guess he smells better now. I haven't smelled anything. He must have come out the shower. So I'm being completely serious. I mean, anyone can do this, you know. And, we, and they welcome everyone who comes, you know. It doesn't matter what you do, what you did, what you're doing, what kind of profession you are. We have people who are like a lawyer. I met a lawyer at this last event. I met a lawyer. I and, met a doctor. Yeah, I met a doctor and a lawyer, right? And a, a former engineer, right? And then again, I, I've met homeless people, okay? I've met people who are in the food service industry. The person I who taught me about this business and who I um, learned about it from, he was working at a coffee shop. He was working at a coffee shop when I decided to get involved in this business. He used to, he was still working there because I remember he would be at work and then he would get home and he was working in a coffee shop. That was his job and he lived with his mom, okay? <laughs> what I'm telling you is that um, we welcome all walks of life. We welcome all people. And internet marketing is kind of an open book. It's a, it's a new age of how to make money uh, now. It's, it's a new kind of commerce. And if you're not learning about it, you're just going to fall behind. And that is the same for the job market. If you don't understand this stuff, you are going to fall behind. You're going to come up, you're going to become obsolete in your job far more quickly because you don't understand this stuff. So anyway, that being said, I do want to get to the five shortcuts to making money while blogging. Um, so, Chris, uh, what do you think? What do you, what do you think is the, one of the biggest shortcuts to making money blogging, in your opinion? What is um, what is a what again? One of the shortcuts. One of the shortcuts to make money blogging. What is the shortcuts to blogging? To make money blogging. Oh, to make money blogging. Yeah. One shortcut. One shortcut. Dive into your material. Okay. Yeah. Um, so get into whatever. So for one, for one thing, the most key thing I found is you have to pick a blog of a topic, a very narrow topic. And I've, I've learned this from many different places. I've taken courses in it. They all say you need a niche, uh, N I C H E, basically a really small topic. And I'm going to put my blog. On, so you can see what my blog is if you want to visit it. So it is kind of long. <laughs> anyway, mine is building. Oh, I just called it wrong. It's so long. Come on. Building a brand online. Building a brand online. Building a brand online.com forward slash financial freedom plan. Yeah, I spelled it right. Okay. <laughs> this is currently my blog. Okay. It's kind of long. Um, I will be making a sure name eventually. I just haven't done it yet. I heard from a very uh, world famous, highly lucrative blogger that it doesn't really matter how long your name is. So I was like, okay. <laughs> However, I still think I want to make a sure just for me. <laughs> so, anyway, my blog is at buildingabrandonline.com forward slash financial freedom. So, that's where my blog is right now. So you can check it out. And actually, the replay for this. This particular lesson we're doing right now is going to be on that blog. Okay, so moving on, <laughs> I wanted to talk about the first thing: have a narrow topic, a niche market. And what does that mean? It means you want to go deep in one particular specific area. You don't want to blog about everything. You want to blog only about one thing very well. It's called specialization, and it's something that you need to do to make money. And it's something that we do anyway when we go to school or anything to get a job. We specialize in something. Because we're specialized in it, we become, and we do it a lot, we become kind of an expert in that. And that's how we can make money in that field. So you need to pick one thing, a very specialized niche, 
And mine is all about how to become financially free. And that's what mine is about. So how to set up your money, how to do your budgeting, how to invest in, in things that create passive income, what kind of videos you can watch, how, how to create a better mindset, what books to read, all about financial freedom so that you can find and become financially free. That's what my blog is about. And I've seen people who blog about CrossFit. I've seen people who blog about health and nutrition. I've seen people who blog about um, ADHD. <laughs> okay. There are all kinds of people out there blogging about their specific niche topic. So that is the first shortcut to making money with a blog, is you have to have a niche, a small topic area that you love. Okay. Now, this was my problem. I would make niche blogs, and I didn't love it, you know? I was good at it, because I was getting paid to do it in, in the, let's just say in the real world. I was getting paid to do these things in real life, so I'm like, oh, I can get paid online, and it's true, I can. However, I didn't love it, you know? It wasn't my passion, you know? And you need to love what you blog about, because if you don't love it, you're not gonna read about it, you're not gonna learn about it, and you're not gonna have enough information to blog about it in the next shortcut, I'm going to tell you, you have to blog every day, okay? Now, if you're going to blog every day, you need to have a lot of information. Now, you're not going to have a lot of information unless you love it. You know how when you love something, you will you will learn about it. Like, say, you know a guy who loves his football team. He'll learn everything he can about his football team. He'll learn about every player, their family situation, how much they make, uh, all their injuries, everything. You know, he'll learn about all the teams that they might go against and what might happen, and he'll do fantasy football with his friends. And, you know, I'm talking about he'll be, like, really, really freaking into it, you know? You have to love what you blog about. When I first started blogging, I blogged about teaching English as a second language, okay? And when I taught about teaching English as a second language, I knew a lot about it. However, I didn't love it. So I, I don't go around learning more about it for fun. The only reason I did it is because that was my job at the time. I was doing it for a living, and, and I wanted to make it easier so that if I could have a lesson, I would have to teach it every time. They could just go online and watch my lesson over and over, and not have to have me teach it, you know? I just don't like doing the same thing over and over again, you know? So um, that's what it started as, and I was good at it, so I could blog every week, however, it wasn't my passion, you know? It's not something like, oh, I love this thing to death, that I would blog about it anyway, for money or not. And that's what you have to find. You have to find out what you love. You, and that's the great thing about it, too, is that you can blog about what you love and make money, which is so cool, right? And it doesn't matter what it is. You can blog about that football team if you want. It can be anything you want. It just has to be something that you really, really love. Okay, so that is the first shortcut. And if you master this, you will succeed because you will love what you write about and blog about so much that you will definitely, definitely find a presence online. Now, it doesn't, it's not easy to figure this out, okay? I had to go through, I, I had to go through four, this is my fourth blog right now, okay? My first blog was about teaching English as a second language. It was a specific niche blog. I did pick the right blog in that sense. However, it wasn't something that I loved, okay? You need a specific niche blog that you love, right? The second blog I picked was about exercise. What like exercise, why? I loved it. I was go running. You know, I'd like to work every day, which nobody did, you know, hardly anyone ever does that. People get inspired to exercise because of me, so I thought, okay, exercise, I'll look for exercise. You know what? I found out that one lasted even less time than the English one because I found out I don't like blogging about exercise. I just like doing exercise, you know? It's just not my thing. You know, I don't want to write about exercise. I just want to go out and have fun and do it because then I'll be okay, that bomb, you know? Um, so then the third one was I created a blog around an ideal. I believe in creating abundance in our lives now. So creative abundance now. And that blog is called candoblog.com. The C-A-N stands for creative abundance now. Candoblog.com means you can blog, and my blog was about creating abundance now. Now, at least I, I thought about it before I started it, and it was, it was something that I believed in, you know, creating abundance, and it's a great thing. And I do study it, However, um, it was kind of abstract, you know, people aren't going on the line going, I'm going to search for creating abundance now, you know, they're just not doing that that much, you know, <laughs> it's like, I mean, some people might be, however, if they're really, they're really not that, you know, and then the blogging part, I would, I would do stuff about blogging, however, I'm not that into it, like, you know, I see people who put the most um, amazing blog posts out on how to blog, okay, I just read one on, um, 
they're talking about where to put your blog to get traffic, which site. It was so informative. I loved it. Would I want to write a blog like that? No, I actually think writing about blogging is kind of boring too. That's me, okay? And it took me a while to figure this out, all right? Just recently, uh, in January, our company started this thing called the 21-Day Blogging Challenge. I picked this topic, financial freedom, and finally, finally found something that I was like, you know what? I finally did it. I finally found a topic that I learn and study about every day. And I, I bought a money magazine when I was flying to the event that I was at. I bought a money magazine because I wanted to read it for fun. Okay, and I read the entire freaking magazine on the way there. The whole thing, cover to cover. And I, I was reading it a little bit the other day. Again, that's how much I love learning about money and financial freedom and how to make money. And I realized I finally picked a topic that is very niche that I actually like. So I, I'm still going to read about it. I'm going to learn more about it every day. And you need to have something like that. Because if you don't love it and you don't learn about it every day, then you're not going to be able to blog about it every day. You're going to run out of stuff to blog about. And then you're going to hit this block where you're like, oh, I'm done. I don't know what else to write about. And then you're just going to kind of get frustrated and quit. You know? So you have to pick something that you love with a passion, that you can blog about every day, that you would love to learn about it. Love to learn about it. I mean, something that, and it has to be something for you, okay? Everyone's different. What I love is not what you would love. I, I'm sure that I know tons of people who would not, not pick up a money magazine and, buy, and read it for their life, okay? I know. There was another person coming to the same event. I told him, hey, you can read this if you want. He didn't touch it. Okay, he gave it back to me. He loves hockey. Oh, my gosh. We got to talk about hockey. He went to this event, and after the event, he would go to the hockey game. And all I talk about is hockey. The guy is hockey. Okay, well, he's, I don't know what he talks about, actually. Hopper. It definitely should be hockey. Because that's what all he talks about. <laughs> the guy needs to blog about hockey. Okay, if he's not, he's got to start. Because that's what it's got to be about hockey for him. So whatever it is about you, that's what you do. Now, it might take you a little while like it did for me. Like, I started out with something that I was good at, that I could blog about every week, that was easy for me to blog. It was something that I knew was what I was doing for work. You know, how I realized that wasn't my passion. Ooh, big bing, 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 and I actually quit that job because I finally realized this is not what I like to do. Even though I'm good at it, it's not what I love to do. And then number two, something that you love to do, however, you actually can blog about. So leg exercise is not something I want to blog about. I love doing it, but you want to blog about it. Three, find, you know, finding like an ideal that, you know, and I didn't want to, it, it just wasn't appealing to people. And then four, finding something that people really want to learn about that I love and I'm learning about and that makes me richer and I can do the site. So that's kind of a nutshell. And I actually gave you three shortcuts in that story. The first shortcut, pick a niche blog that you love. The second shortcut is blog daily. Blog daily, okay? You have to blog daily. Why do you have to blog daily? It's because that's how you build traffic. That's how you build audience. That's how people come to find you on the internet. That's how you become an expert. You have to blog every day. Now. That's the second shortcut. And the third shortcut is to educate yourself daily on your topic so that you always have something to blog about. Okay? So you have to pick something that you love, all right? A niche topic, narrow topic that you love, blog about it daily, and learn about it daily so that you always have something to blog about. Okay? Those are three shortcuts to making money online blogging. And if you master these, um, you're already on your way. Now, the fourth thing is you have to be selling something. <laughs> this is the one that I fixed with this particular business we're in right now because they have the most amazing platform of products you can buy, including a blogging platform that is optimized for your business, which I use. Building a brand online is one of the URLs we have. And what does that mean, optimized? It means that um, they, they help you get traffic. They help you build an audience. And they do it, they help you do it. And they're not making money through your blog. They're actually making money. It's a paid blog system. So you pay only $25 a month, very affordable. And it, it has the whole hosting for you, different hosting. Um, I mean, that's about how much it would cost to set up your own blog. It's the same price, really. It, your own commercial blog. Now, you can blog for free. Like I said, my first blog was on Blogspot. It was about teaching English as a second language. Blogspot is a free blog offered by Google. Now, 
I heard from Neil Patel, very renowned expert in the field of blogging, that you should never ever use Blogspot ever. If you have a Blogspot blog, move it immediately. That's what he told everyone. Like Blogspot sucks. That's basically what he said. And I was like, okay. And he makes a ton of money blogging, and he's not even in our business. He's just a blogger, he's an expert blogger. Okay. And um, so I was like, wow, okay. Blogspot sucks. Why does Blogspot suck? Because Blogspot is Google, and Google uses it to get traffic to Google and help them make money. Okay, they are not optimized for your business. They're optimized for them, and they offer the free, the free blog because it brings more traffic in, which is good for Google, right? So they sell traffic to Google. People pay Google to put ads on your blog, you know, and if they have more blogs. On the internet that they can use to put ads on, then they're so happy because then they have stuff that they can say, "Hey, I can advertise your stuff on the niche you want because someone's blogging, and you know, I got it." So here, and they're the ones making the most money with that. Okay, I know because I have Google Ads ads on that blog, and I made money, money, money. Okay, I made like a hundred dollars the other day, um, and that was after it was up for what four years, five years, something like that. <laughs> You know, so if you're on a free blog, you have to understand that the service providing the free blog is making money to offer you a free blog because it costs money to pay for a server to host your blog and all these things. Everything costs money, all right? And if they're giving it to you for free, that means they're getting a benefit from it. It has everything to do with you, all right? So if you, you have to have a blog that has got your back, that's supporting you. Okay, so the blog we have, 24,000 a month, is like the bare minimum you would pay to make any blog if you wanted to make a blog for yourself, pay for server space, pay for, you know, domain names, all kinds of things. You need a place to put up your blog. This $25 is like the basic minimum that you could pay probably anywhere to make a blog, unless you did a free one. However, a paid blog is better because, like I said, they've got your back. The traffic they bring in is for you. They're not doing it to make money because you're paying them the $25. That's where they're getting their income. They don't need to do that. The traffic they bring in is to help you build your business so that you would make a loyal customer to that. That makes sense to you. That's what's going on, right? Ask any professional blogger and they will tell you the cost of, of keeping a blog. $25 a month is extremely low. Okay, it's common knowledge. So you need a blog that is optimized for you. And the thing about the blog that we have is it's extremely easy to use compared to anything I've ever used before. It's called Plotu. And it gives you these templates. You just ask you questions like, you know, what do you want to blog about today? Uh, let's do videos today. Put in your seven videos. You're done. Talk about your videos. Boom. And then you press this thing, this button at the bottom, and then it makes this beautiful blog with all your videos and all these headers and all this pretty stuff. And it's just the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And I've never Seen that before, and I've been like I said, I've been blogging for a while. And I've never seen uh, this 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 plugin called Twenty One Blogging Challenge, where you can just answer questions in your blog post. I mean, you can do, you can blog so fast. Like I've done five minute blog, you know, with this system. So it cuts down time. It makes your blogs look beautiful. It makes them optimized for you. They're, they're they got your back. Very minimal cost to run your business, and so you need to have a platform that's optimized for you. Okay, that is the fourth tip. Now, another thing about this platform that makes it optimized for you is that they have this thing called the 21 Day Blogging Challenge. They have a Facebook group called the 21 Day Blogging Challenge Facebook group where the people in it blog every day and then they put the blogs there and you get to comment on each other's blogs and you get to support each other. And it's a great community that if you understand anything about community, you understand that when you get people together for a similar purpose, you create this mastermind. This mastermind. I've been reading the laws of stuff by Napoleon Hill recently. Creating a mastermind is key to success. Okay, if you think you can do everything by yourself, you're living in a fantasy. Okay, we live in a community, and if you can combine your mind with more minds that are on the same path, you're going to get to your goal quicker. That's why it's powerful in our business school events. You can meet up with the people who are making millions of dollars. You know, get their minds combined with your minds, so you can do it too, right? It's called the mastermind concept. And in this blogging platform, we have a whole group where everyone's blogging daily. So it's great. So you're going to be more motivated to blog daily because all these other people are doing it too. And then you can support each other. You know, person who uh, has a blog about exercise, I might read it, you know, for fun, because I like it. 
and then do a comment for them to support them. And then they'll read mine because they're like, hey, you know, I really want to give them money. And they'll read mine and they'll comment because, you know, that's how the community is. We support each other. So you want something like that. And it's, I don't know anywhere where you can get that in 2001. Nowhere. I never heard of it. At all. Ever. Nowhere. I mean, it's the most supportive thing I've ever seen. A community of people, you know, a blog that pretty much writes itself and like, Everything and it's optimized for you. They do these things in the background that I don't even understand that makes your blog great quicker. They do these things for the blog. It's, it's something that they do for optimization. I don't even understand it and they do it for you. So there's a lot going on with this blog that um, you don't have to understand how you can start making money. And you can actually track how you're doing on a blog. There's an analytics thing where you can see how many people are going there, what they're clicking, how long do they stay on your blog. And it's all built in, real easy to use. So I Okay, so five shortcuts so far. Number one, specialized niche blog that you love. Number two, read and learn about that niche daily so you're always something to blog about, right? Number three, number three is, um, what was number three? I forgot already. <laughs> Chris, what was number three? Oh, I forgot to write it. Blog daily, I remember. Blog daily. Number three is blog daily. Okay, so number one, niche blog, something specialized that you love. Two, learn and read about it every day. So there's definitely blog about. Number three, blog daily. Number four, ha get an optimized blogging platform that works for you. Okay, those are four shortcuts. Uh, and number five is have something to sell. Okay, if you're not selling anything, you're not gonna make any money. The whole point of this five shortcuts is how to make money blogging, right? You need to sell something. You need to sell something on your blog. Okay. Now, if you're going to sell Amazon, if you're going to sell Amazon products and you're going to sell Google AdSense, good luck to you. I mean, I've done that, and um, maybe you can make. I've, I've heard of people making good money doing that, so maybe that's your thing, and that's fine. However, for me, I sell these products that my company sells. Basically, it's a blogging platform. This blogging platform that I actually I absolutely adore and use every day. We sell it. So twenty-five dollars, we sell that, and then we sell courses on how to blog better. How to be a better internet marketer, how to be a better leader, how to build a business, how to become a top producer. We sell products. We sell an inner circle product that reprograms your brain to be successful. Because as we know, the common denominator in all the businesses that we've done is us, right? Our brain, right? The only way that we can become more successful, what we do is to train our brain to become successful. Everybody knows that. That's why you read books. That's why you teach courses. Because you have to retrain your brain, right? We have this whole inner circle of course where you listen to these audios that we program in your brain on a daily basis. And I listen to audios on a daily basis. So, I mean, there's so many things that we offer that I absolutely love. I use them all the time. Now, I wouldn't sell it if I didn't like it and love it and use it all the time, right? So, the thing that's different about what I sell and the Google AdSense ads and the Amazon ads or whatever is that I make a huge cut if you buy from me. The company, you know, I make a lot of money, you know? so. You make more money. You want to sell something where you can have a high profit margin, right? We make 70% commissions on everything we sell. 70% commission, right? Mm -hmm. um, we have a whole payment structure that if you decided to do what we do, uh, which you totally can, if you visit our blogs, Chris has a blog, I have a blog, you can totally learn more about what we do and decide if you want to do what we do, which I highly encourage because, I, like I said, I've been doing this a while and I've never been in a business where. The owners are like, we're going to make 100 millionaires a year, and we're going to, <laughs> and he's actually making millionaires, you know, and a millionaire rings, and who does that, right? Only us. Okay, only, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. And I, I've, I've seen other companies, you know. There was a company that was like Chia Seed, you know. They were talking about millionaire year earners. I never, I never heard anything about that, you know, and like, I mean, I've heard of like there was a person who had made a million dollars. However, there was no company mission to help people make millions of dollars. No, I never heard of it. And I never met the owner, you know. And I never met the owner who was actually doing the same business. Our owner does the same thing we do. He blogs every day. He made his money blogging. He was a blogger before he started his business while blogging. And then he thought, hey, if I can blog every day and make money, I want everyone to be able to do it. So he created this business so everyone could blog every day and make money. I love the guy. He's great. So I mean. If you want to do our business, go to our blog, click the link, find out more. Okay? You're going to probably see a banner that says, find out more. How does blogging thing? How do people make money? Click the link, get your email, you watch a video, and find out more. That's it. What's up? And if you like it, you pay the $25, like I do, like Chris said, to blog 
everyone. Um, it's an amazing, amazing, wonderful, blessed thing. Okay, I'm just going to say it. But anyway, five shortcuts to making money. Logging. Do you remember what they are, Chris? <laughs> no, you're a niche. Good. Mm -hmm. Oh, goodness. I have the board. Know your niche and make sure you love it. Number two. Make sure you love it. That's number two. Number two is no. Number one is know your niche. Number two is love it. Number three is blog daily. Number four is what was number four again? Yeah, see, this is good because Chris helps me know if I'm being organized and making sense. Number four is have an optimized blogging platform. Yeah, have, have a, a blogging level. platform that is optimized to create traffic for you, right? So have a blogging platform that is optimized for you. So do not use Blogspot. Apparently that's the word. I don't even know why. Or it's the word. Don't use Blogspot. Okay. I heard from an expert in the field. It doesn't even do our business. Said Blogspot. So okay. I think that was his quote. I think he said exactly as that was. Blogspot. I think that's exactly what he said. <laughs> so do not use Blogspot. Apparently, um, if you want to make money, if you want to make money blogging. Don't use it. That's what I heard. The guy makes a lot of money blogging, and he doesn't use our stuff either. He uses his own. He made his own blogging blogging um, thing. Built it himself, right? And he doesn't use blog points, so that's terrible. So make sure you use the right platform. I call it an optimized platform, something that will work for you. So pick the right one, okay? It has, it's usually a paid one. You pay for it yourself, not a free one, okay? So that's number four. Number five, what's number five? Last one. Number five is have a product to sell. Yes, have a product to sell. You have to sell something. Now, sell something where you make a lot of money, and then you'll make more money, okay? So sell something where you have a bigger cut. Some people sell their own stock, which is great. You make 100%, you know, minus the processing fee. If you, if you make your own ebook, your own courses, and you sell your own stuff, you can make a lot of money because you have no one else taking money from you except the merchant processors, right? Because when someone swipes a credit card, you always have to pay a fee for a merchant processor. That's how Visa and MasterCard make their money, right? So you never quite make all the money. However, they only take out a few bucks to purchase, right? Or maybe more, depending on how big the transaction is. So, I mean, have products. If you don't have products to sell, you have to find products to sell that give you a high cut. And the business that we're in, we make 70% of the product. And we love our product. I love them. I think they're great. 70% cut. It's a huge cut, okay? I think Amazon gives you, like I said, Amazon, I would make like a few cents per sale. So, and Google AdSense, they give you just a few penny, you know, per click. I mean, you, there's so many ways to make money on the internet. You have to run right to the one that makes you the most. So don't, don't fiddle with things that don't make you a lot of money. Don't do what I did. You'll probably quit because you won't make any money and you'll be frustrated. You'll be like, I put on all that I've never made any money. I'm going to quit. Don't do that. Start with something where you make a lot of money. Every time you sell it, you feel good about selling it, you love it, and you make a lot of money selling it. It might be your own product. For us, I sell the blogging platform. I sell uh, what I use because I think it's so great and I love it. So I sell that. Okay? You can do it too. If you have nothing to sell, sell what we sell. I'm telling you, what we sell is a product that promotes that people blog about what they love and make money online. That's what we sell. We sell a leadership package that helps people become better leaders. And our company is all about empowering people. That's their mission, that's their name. They're all about empowering people. That's what we sell. We sell empowerment through blogging on the internet. To me, that is like the ultimate product, right? So I love it. I love selling. Now pick something you love to sell that gives you a high commission cut. Now maybe it's your own product. Like I said, there are people who are teachers and coaches and they have all these products they need themselves. They want to sell their books. They write books, you know? That's totally fine. So you have to pick something to sell though and you have to sell it on your blog. And it's like super key. We're talking about making money, right? Making money blogging. Sell something on your blog. Okay, if you're not selling something on your blog, you're not gonna make any money. I think it's obvious. I think you know what. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the five again. Number one, pick a niche, narrow niche blog. Number two, it has to be something you love so that you'll read about it and learn about it every day and always have something to blog about, which is number three, blog every day. 
from the floor. Pick an optimized body platform that will have your back, that will support you. And number five, sell something to other dogs. Okay, so there's five shortcuts to body. They work. Trust me. Go to our blog to find out more about our blogging platform, what an optimized platform looks like, because ours is extremely optimized for selling. And it's a beautiful blog. And we have so many different templates to go check out our blog. Chris has her blog up. I have my blog up on the screen. Chris, what is the name of your blog? Can you tell me what it is? Freedomyoucanhave.com. Hey, so Chris made it shorter, smart girl. Freedomyoucanhave.com. <laughs> that lazy. So, uh, building a brand online.com slash financial freedom site is mine. Um, obviously, my homework is to make it short. Anyway, like I said, you don't have to make tons, you don't have to be a super genius. You don't have to have a short name blog to make money online blogging, okay? I am a testament to that, okay? <laughs> so, anyway, I hope you have a great morning. If you're watching this in the evening, have a great evening. Thank you for joining us. We do this every week, same time, Friday, 6 a.m. Hawaii time. That is noon Eastern Standard Time. So have a great day and bye.